What's up everybody, so what you're seeing in the background is of gameplay of Osu with me using the brand new Mate 68 Pro keyboard from Melgi. This is a pretty interesting rapid trigger keyboard that I've been really impressed by so far. I've been using this keyboard for around a week and in this video I will show you the unboxing experience of the keyboard, a software guide and some of the features that this keyboard has, as well as my opinion on the overall build quality of the keyboard and many other stuff. Before we get started I do want to say thank you to Melgi for sending me an early copy of this keyboard and I also wanted to mention the fact that since this is an early copy of the keyboard some stuff will not be the same in this video as it will be when the keyboard enters mass production so with that out of the way let's get into the unboxing of this keyboard so again since this is an early copy the Mate 68 Pro was packaged in the Mate 68 original version box so your unboxing experience will be different from what I experienced here now once you open the box of the Mate 68 you will get the keyboard itself you'll check that out a little bit later you also get a quick starter guide for the keyboard itself some pretty cute and fun stickers from the mail geek mascot or should i say logo it's pretty much the same a usb-c cable for the keyboard a few extra keycaps and of course a keycap port going into the keyboard itself i specifically got the air version of the keyboard there's four different versions of the keyboards and they're all based on the ancient greek philosophical concept of the four elements which are air earth fire and water the keyboard is mainly built off of plastic but also on the sides there are some metal plates just for design purposes mainly and they do look pretty clean on the keyboard itself. Now each keyboard has this transparent plastic front with a cool unique design to also show off this ginormous LED light and to be fair this is something pretty cool that you don't see a lot in other keyboards and the light also matches the version of the keyboard that you got for example I got the air version so my light is white but again that's only the default setting of the keyboard if you want to change the light color then you can do that in the software which we'll see later and yes of course the entire keyboard does indeed have rgb now my review unit currently has the magnetic white switches but once this keyboard enters mass production it will feature the ttc king of magnetic switch this keyboard does feature rapid trigger from 0.01 millimeters all the way to 4 millimeters and another thing is that when this keyboard does go into mass production it will feature 8000 hertz pulling rate However, since this unit that I currently have is a review unit and only features 1000Hz pulling rate, which is still fine. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get into the sound test of the keyboard. Honestly, for me personally, the keyboard sounds really good, but let me know what you think about the sound test down in the comments. But yeah, let's get into the software that is for this keyboard, which is pretty much a web-based software. Okay, so pretty much this right here is the software for the Mate 68. Once you plug in your keyboard, you pretty much select it on the software itself, and then this right here like you know the keyboard itself will show up you just click this right here and then you just go to the menu that it is for the keyboard first of all you have rgb options one for the main rgb that is on the keyboard here you can see for yourself and also one for the box light that is on the front yes you can change this as well but yeah you have a ton of options here this one for example just turns off the light i usually like this one pretty much just sets it to like a rainbow color if you know what i mean you can also change the brightness if you don't want it too bright or you want it a bit more brighter you can also change the speed of the effect like that is pretty fast. You can also change the box light since there is settings for that right here. As you can see, it's already pretty bright. You can even make it a bit more brighter if you want to, like I'll put it at 200. However, if you don't like the white color that it is already on the light itself, you can also change it to a different color. Like for example, let's say red. If you want it to be red, you can do that. Cyan. This also looks really good. Yeah, you can change it to whatever you like. But for me personally, I like the default uh, white version. There's also, of course, super key. Super key is for stuff like DKS, macros, shortcuts. DKS, of course, you already know what it is. Don't use this for Osu. You will get bad like Quadrifold. I don't really need to explain why, but you already know about that. There's also shortcut. As you can see, you can add different types of shortcuts. Replace key, key log, mod tab, toggle key. 
macros as well you can add macros or most importantly the key feature that a lot of people buy this keyboard for which is snap tap snap tap again it's not useful for stuff like osu because you will eventually get banned and caught if you use this also the same thing could be said about counter strike 2 recently they did apparently uh ban this feature from the game you will get kicked from competitive games if you do use snap tap however for games like valorant and overwatch and stuff like that you can still use snap tap uh toggle the keys a and d together click ok and now you have a snap tap together now if i click a here it goes to a and while i'm still holding a you can switch to d and hold d and it will go to d but if i release d it will go to a again so that's essentially snap tap but again just a warning do not use this for osu or counter strike 2. another thing that i wanted to showcase is the rapid trigger option the thing that all you all have been waiting for this thing right here has from 0.1 all the way to four millimeters rapid trigger as you can see we can select the n and m buttons and you can set a custom actuation point as well as enable rapid trigger sensitivity change it to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 of course that's up to you your preference if you know what i mean but you can also activate continuous rapid trigger and you can also separate the up and down stroke sensitivity for the software itself as well as you can set up bottom dead zone this is very useful if you don't want accidental clicks since rapid trigger 0.1 millimeters is also very sensitive so having a dead zone at the bottom it is pretty useful top of that you can also calibrate your switches you can also calibrate auto calibrate your switches or manually calibrate them as for the web drivers of the keyboard itself you can go to settings right here and you can just click the online update and then check update it will check if there is a new version for you and it will tell you if there is an update or not but you can also manually download the firmware itself and add it like here for example you can just add it manually and then update for yourself like that as you can see but yeah that's essentially it when it comes to the web software it is pretty good it does the job and also having web software compared to having a software downloaded on your pc is always way better and also here's some gameplay of me using the mate 68 keyboard on certain speed maps and also stream maps one clip without in-game music and one clip with the music So yeah, now that I showed you some gameplay, here is my conclusion and also my thoughts overall on this keyboard. I really, really like the Mate 68 Pro keyboard. In general, you get a pretty compact keyboard with some pretty nice sounding switches and overall really good performance for the price that you pay. Speaking of which, I still haven't mentioned the price of the keyboard and honestly, you will be pretty surprised. It is currently available on Kickstarter and you can get it for around $100 only. Honestly, to me, $100 for this keyboard sounds like a really good deal but yeah overall i do think that this is a really good rapid trigger that you could buy for yourself and if you are interested into buying this keyboard then i'll leave links in the description with that being said let me know what you think about it down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video bye bye